Have you had the problem where people say, well, yeah, but you're Robert Riopelle. Rob can do it. You know, I want to do this fill in the spectacular thing. But people yeah. like me can't do that. I'm just John. I'm just Susie. I'm yeah. not Rob. And Look, I think that's total BS. When they come up it, and tell me is. that, I said, you're right. You can't do it because you don't believe in yourself. Yep. And the moment you start believing, you'll be able to do it. What would you say to somebody that has that self-limiting belief, Rob? Well, I'd start them off with, you know, what was going to be one of the titles of my book, Success Left a Clue. I was going to call it three, two, one rich um, at one point. And I turned that into a formula for helping people understand why and how they can do stuff. The three, have at least three coaches in your life. Because there's going to be people that see stuff in you that you don't see in yourself that are going to be there to draw it out of you. Especially in the beginning, when I started training, I had people tell me, you want to be a trainer? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> and because I had coaches who believed in me because I, and this, some people find this hard to, believe but i one of my struggles all my life self-esteem mm. always struggling with self-esteem and even today when i meet new people my mind goes okay um do i have to prove myself um why would they want to talk to me and you know other people go but again you're robert <laughs> right yeah i'm just me and that's one of the things so i have three coaches to be able to be your cheerleaders to help you come through stuff like that two have two mentors in your life. And a difference to me, because I'm going to give my explanation, difference between a coach and a mentor to me, because there's so many variations of this, just because I'm saying it, don't think that it means everything. It's This is my perspective on it. But a coach, like I said, sees in you what you don't see, they coach you along. A mentor is someone who's accomplished what you want, and they're not there to coddle you. They're just there to say, if you want to get where I'm at, do this, do this, do this. Like people who work with me as a trainer, I want them to know that be ready to do the grind. Don't think it's just going to be handed to you. And I'm very real with them. You guys as a family knowing investing in real estate so well, did you start with the hundreds of properties you have? No, no. you started with one. Here's what my one of my mentors taught me because I have mentors. I still have mentors. And I love this saying. And if people are taking notes while they're watching or listening to this, I want them to get this. Get one done because that's what holds so many people back with the lowest self-esteem is they they end up overwhelming themselves because they see a huge picture well if i want to be like eric lila i want to be like devin i want to have multiple properties they get overwhelmed go, <gasps> and they never take a step but if you go okay i'm going to get one done the other one i was going to say the, that the same mentor gave me he says don't get good get done i'll say that one again don't get good get done you're going to be terrible when you're starting something new. You're going to crash. You're going to burn. This is why you want coaches and mentors in your life to help you through that. So the part I added to that one was get one done. Or see, I, my mind's all over the place. Don't get good, get done. Because by getting done, you will get good.